and um, please, will you now welcome uh, the first guest onto the stage. He, um, he's not even human! <coughs> I, su I thought you'd be more surprised. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. Please welcome now onto the stage um, the polar bear. <laughs> Listen, I'm so happy to be here. Are we ready for a great night or what, gang? <laughs> Just the women this time? <laughs> and now the mutes. <laughs> One. It's so good to be here. I'm so, so happy to be here. Let me introduce myself. My name's the Polar Bear, and you are Bastard Man! Yeah! Bastard Man! Yeah, let me just tell you a few things about Bastard Man. Because of all the environments that you've been making over the years, you've caused global boiling. Yeah, and as a result, the polar ice caps have melted, the water levels have risen, Belgium's turned queer, <laughs> and the population of polar bears has shrunk to just 12 million. <laughs> Hardly any of us! But, you know what? I'm here tonight with a serious message but don't worry, people, it's not all going to be like doom and gloom and Simon Groom. <laughs> That's my favourite bit. <laughs> Downhill from now on. <laughs> what do you say? We actually start off with a wee joke, just to lighten the mood. Yeah? yeah? Well, here's a wee joke for you, I'm dead excited about it. Why do polar bears never eat penguins? Can't get the wrappers off. No! 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 It's because Bastard Man killed them all! Yeah! Bastard Man and Global Boiling! Did you know that in 1998 the population of penguins numbered in their hundreds of thousands? But now, thanks to Bastard Man, these once humble animals can only be found in packs of eight, ten, and a family pack of sixteen. <laughs> Something really must be done quite soon to help these lovely creatures, some of which are very much orange or mint. <laughs> That's my second favorite bit. <laughs> they live each day in fear of their one true mortal enemy, Elevenses. <laughs> Now, I live in the Arctic, or Antarctic, I don't know. And, <laughs> and every day I wake up and see, thanks to global boiling, literally thousands of dead penguins. Isn't that shocking? Do you know? Is there someone there? Do you know? <laughs> Do you know what a thousand dead penguins looks like? No. Do you? Well, here. There. That's what a thousand dead penguins looks like. It's horrible, isn't it? It's disgusting. Why does this happen? I fucking hate this. It's not funny and it's never been funny. It's shit. And every time I turn on my telly, this is the horror I see. It's disgusting and it makes me sick. 
That's that's the wrong picture. <laughs> Igor! Igor! <laughs> Go away, Igor! Their favorite bit. Global boiling really is a killer, people. It really is a killer, and it's a killer that is bigger than the tsunami. It's larger than an earthquake, and it's fatter than Ian Huntley combined. <laughs> Did you know that in 2006, President George W. Bush gave just a quarter of a million dollars to aid research into reversing the effect of climate change? And yet, in 1988, this was at the top of the charts. being destroyed thanks to bastard man isn't it hang on <laughs> yeah it's being destroyed by bastard man if only you had thought about switching your TV off properly at night if only you had recycled more if only you weren't such a big ball bag none of this would have happened but you know what, people? Together, we can stop Mother Earth being great to heaven and back. <laughs> but only if we work together as a unit. Remember, there's no I in climate change. There's one I. You're allowed fucking one. No. You're allowed one. You know what, gang? I really... <laughs> I'm one of the other acts, by the way, not, not who you think I'm. <laughs> I'm one of the Congress. Do you know what, gang? I think tonight I could really change a few hearts and open a few brains. That's what we've got to do if we work together. We can stop bastard man's selling of the earth, the shooting of the ocean and they're pimping out baby trees just for drug money. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Oh, I, th I think I remembered most of it. Yeah, well done. Oh, cheers. Uh, thank you very much. So, Melbourne, yeah? Yeah, yeah, just, if you don't mind, um, right, just a couple of observations. Yeah, yeah, I'd yeah. Like to make. Um, I think you'd store Melbourne. Oh, brilliant. Um, it's going on at the moment, though, so. Um, I mean, there's next year. Yeah. Um, but I'm not affiliated with it, so I don't know how you go about <laughs> going, going, going there. But I think you would still admit, though. I think, you know, as I say, your act is amazing. I, I guess it's kind of a parody. Yeah. It's kind of a parody, yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's taking the piss out of pandas. Do, do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> just one. Um, well, it's, it's not a criticism, not at all. That's not fine for whatever. It's, it's just a, a, a little observation. Yeah. So you don't mind. No, no. Um, mate, you stink of shit. <laughs> That's it, really. I mean, you can probably get past it, but you know, it's, it's kind of kind of overpowering. Stop the shot. Stop the shot. But it's good though. So you know, well done. But uh, as I say, I don't think I can stand to be on the stage anymore. Bye. Well done, mate. Yeah. And now, ladies and.